The way you connect with a current or future employer is likely changing. So chances are that you could be on camera instead of meeting or interviewing a person face to face. So we Skyped with Executive Presence consultant Polly Meyer to find out how to make your best impression. Polly, thanks so much for joining us. We know you work with a lot of clients who already are kind of transforming the way they present themselves. What sort of advice do you have for people? This is a new world that everyone, or, well, maybe it isn't that new mm -hmm. for the job search the way it's going right now. Well, you know, it, it is a new world. You know, video job interviews have been around for a long time, but the majority of them are face to face. But now everything has changed. Everyone is in the same boat together. And because of that, we're all trying to figure it out together. And there's a, a sense of forgiveness that comes across right now, you know, if the lighting is bad or the audio is bad. But what if you had different strategies that would actually put you ahead of that curve so that you had that competitive edge? Mm -hmm. So I have five simple strategies that are gonna help your viewers make a very powerful impression the next time they are on that on camera interview. Cool, let's so get to first, it, let's go. Number one. Number one is move your camera up to eye level. Whether you have a cell phone or a laptop, a desktop, a GoPro, move that camera up so that it's slightly above eye level. Because here's what I'm seeing. The majority of the people that I do videos with, they have the camera too low. So they're basically looking down like this which means that whoever they're talking to gets a clear shot right up their nose. Right? <laughs> Not a good thing, mm -hmm. right? Number two, make sure that you have great lighting. Now, all this might mean is moving in front of a window so that the window is in front of you or bring in a, a diva light or a ring light. They're very inexpensive on Amazon. Last um, worst case scenario is go through the house, gather your lamps, Put them behind your camera or your laptop or your cell phone. Just play around with it a little bit. You want to have good lighting on your face so that we can see you. Mm -hmm. What happens is many people have that window behind them or to the side, and it casts these really awful shadows on your face, which are going to make you look tired, older, mm -hmm. and more ghoulish, okay. right? So we want to have that nice key light. Let's get to now, number three. Three, three is the eye gaze. When you are on that on job, when you're, when you're on that, that interview, you want to look at the camera lens when you're talking, not the screen, because that camera, that when you're looking at the camera, it creates a nice eye contact, which demonstrates confidence. Confidence equates to certainty in the minds of others, and people pay for that certainty. Too many people look at the screen, and when they're looking at the screen, now you're not connecting with anybody. Good, really Tip good. Tip number four, check your backdrop. Your backdrop should reflect the impression that you're wanting to make on the people who are interviewing you. Too many times I see bedroom closets with the doors open. I see messy kitchens. I see cluttered desks and countertops. If you're going for a leadership position and you're showing, you're dem wanting to demonstrate that you're organized and on top of things, the last thing you want is a messy, cluttered backdrop. So be intentional, bring in books, bring in soft items, bring in things that represent the brand that you're wanting to get across. Okay, and number five? Number five is energy. There's something about the camera lens that just sucks the energy out of people. If you have two equally matched candidates and one has more energy and the other one is boring, guess who has the competitive advantage right now? The one who is bringing the energy, enthusiasm, and excitement for being there. And Polly, Those are my five strategies. Right. And Polly, I don't want to sound trivial on this, but hair and makeup and your appearance, they still do matter, even if it is something on video conferencing. Thank you, Heather, for bringing that up. Absolutely. Because it's the first thing that we are judging you on, right? And I hate to say the word judging, but that's exactly what's happening. First, it's your appearance. Then it's your voice. So if you are a man or a woman, yes, men, Jason, yes, men, <laughs> we, need, we need facial powder or we need those blotting tissues. So if you're a man, you just want to go to the pharmacy or Target and you want to pick up a translucent powder 
just use the sponge and you're going to tap it over. It's going to absorb those oils on our faces and our heads. This is for women as well. And because the lighting, because now you have that key lighting in front of you, it's going to pick up those natural oils on our yeah, faces and it's sure. going to bounce the light off of them. And then it's going to distract from our message. Polly, these are great tips. Mm -hmm. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. Thanks. Polly Meyer has more resources on her website to help you make that memorable and lasting impression. Go to WCCO.com slash links.